All right, <clears throat> we're gonna talk about tarping. I got two uh, shotgun coils on here. They're aluminum. They weigh about 23,000 pounds a piece. Uh, you've seen that in the previous video. Um, all tarp jobs are basically the same. And, uh, you know, that was something we taught down there in the, in the building at Little Rock was, uh, you know, just simple steps. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pin my lip. And I'm going to start with the top row of D-rings. Okay, so I'm going to follow this down to right here. And, of course, it was double tarped. There's my canvas. I'm going to get right here behind this stake pocket. Okay? Now, the rule of thumb that I try to tell everybody is this. Um, you know, if, if you hired somebody to build a house for you, would you want it square? Of course you would. And um, so keep this square, and it's going to look pretty good. Um, and, and I think you'll, you'll realize with these steps uh, just how good it will look. And um, so... First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this in. I'm gonna get on this D-ring right here and I'm coming in right there, okay? Let's, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I'm gonna set the camera up right there. We try to keep everything inside the rub rail, okay? So you don't wanna get too crazy with it here at first. And another thing I wanna show you is this. This is temporary right now, okay? So I'm gonna go back toward the front with it. It's temporary, so I'm going back toward the front. I always turn my back to these things, okay? I don't want this popping me in the face or something, I'd rather it hit me in the back. I don't have to put a lot of heat on this because it is temporary. Exactly right. So, I'm gonna go around to the other side and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Okay, I've mirrored that over there and as you can tell, I'm already a step ahead on the other side, so I'm gonna show you what I've done here. I need to find the first row of D-rings. Okay, this is the row of D-rings right here above my rub rail. Right there's my rub rail. That's the first one above. I'm gonna set the camera down and let you see what I'm doing here. I'm gonna grab a hold of this one. It's out in front of the product, okay? And I'm gonna put a little heat on it and bring it right out here. And all I'm doing with this is I'm stretching my wall. This is a new tarp. It's gonna be difficult to work with. I'm gonna follow the same row of D-rings back here to the back, okay? As you can tell, over there, I've already got my stretcher on there. What I wanna do is on this same row of D-rings right here, I wanna come about two D-rings past the end of my product. Right there is the end of my product. There's one, there's two, okay? I'm gonna set the camera down again. Hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing here. Now, I have my wall stretched. Both sides, exactly the same. Okay, right there's my front lip that I established earlier on that top row of D-rings. So now what I have to do, my next step, after I get that done and I get my wall stretched, I'm gonna come back to the same location and I'm gonna get a pinch point right here. Right there on that spool. And I'm gonna come off this one because this one is directly above that. I could not get a pinch point there. I'm gonna come back right there and it's gonna come down and get a pinch point. I'm gonna do it and then I'm gonna show it to you. Okay, once again, here's my front lip. It's about keeping this stuff square. Wherever your front lip is, you go to the other side and establish that front lip, same location, right behind the stake pocket. Then what you do is, you get a pinch point right here. When we talk about pinch points, what I'm doing is I'm pinching the tarp between the bungee and the rub rail. Now, we come back here and we figure out where we wanna go. I'm on the stake pocket. I'm about 18 inches behind the product. That's what I want. Once again, I'm coming to the D-ring back toward the product and then going away from the product and establishing this rear pinch point. I'm going to make this the exact same location on the other side. It's about keeping it square. The reason I'm getting 18 inches between the end of my product and this rear pinch point <clears throat> is because I've got all this excess back here. And yes, that is my barn door. That's the way I like doing it. I've got to get all that rolled up and back underneath this tarp. 
and I need a void here to put all that in. I'm gonna go around the other side and get this done, and then I'll come back and show you how to finish up on, on the sides, on the walls. Okay, I got my sides finished up. All I've done is I've come through and got a pinch point on every one of these. Now, once again, I can't get a pinch point if I bring that bungee straight down. I've got to go at an angle, <clears throat> and then I make the turn and come back. Okay. Do I have to mirror these? No, you don't. I usually try to, I just say it looks better. And um, so I'm gonna finish the front up, okay? Now, once again, what did I say this was? Temporary, okay? That's temporary. We're gonna make it permanent now, but I gotta do something with this, okay? So I want you to watch what I'm gonna do here. Maybe you can see it, I hope you can. I'm gonna take my jumper off. Always, Take them off at the rubber. Don't take them off here. You're less likely to get hit if you take them off at the rubber. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this loose right here, just like so. Okay, and I'm going to pick that up. I'm going to pull this back away. Take this out. Got to be careful because if I'm not, I will lose my pinch point. Right now. That's not what I want. If I do lose that pinch point at any time, I'm going to stop and I'm going to reestablish it. Look what happened. I just lost it right there. So I'm going to stop and I'm going to reestablish this. here remember earlier I was going this direction because it was temporary now I'm gonna make it permanent and that's gonna seal all this off I'm just gonna take this bungee and I'm going back this way now now I've got Two flaps, okay? Two button, two uh, D-rings. This one right here, it's on the top row, and this one right here that I'm gonna pull back. I'm gonna get those hooked up, and then I'll show you the finished product when I get the other side done. I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. Okay, there's the front finished up. Most of the time, you know, this was steel, I would hook a bungee and take it around, hook a bungee to the other side, and then pull them both back to the middle and meet them. We don't do that on aluminum. We take a damage on, uh, we take a chance on damaging the coil. So uh, that's why we use the string. Let's finish the back up. Okay, I've took my stretcher off back here on this back. Got my pinch point here. That was my last pinch point about 18 inches past my product. Got to find the first D ring that will touch the deck of the trailer. Well, I know I tell you this one don't work on the other side. So I'm gonna have to come back to this one. No big deal. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to pull this up here about so and go between my spools and I'm going to mirror on the other side exactly the same. So, this is temporary, okay? And look how loose this is. I don't want that tight because I've got to get all this up underneath this tarp. I don't want it tight. I want it loose. That way everything will roll up and go right underneath there. And then I'm going to show you what we do with this here in just a second.
Whenever we roll this up and I fold it over, as you've seen me do, I don't want the end of it to go past where I've got it hooked to the rub rail. Okay? If I do, you will have a tail sticking out. Okay, I take my line of scrimmage loose and I'm just gonna pull this tight. I'm just gonna give it a couple of rolls here. A little tuck. And I'm gonna meet him. Right here, in the same spot in the last pinch point of that. And then I'm going back toward the product. Once again, it creates that seal. Now that becomes permanent. Becomes permanent. Next thing I'm going to do is top row of D-rings. Okay. people call them flaps, some people call them ears. here now I'm gonna put me a couple jumpers I'm gonna hook them right here and they're gonna go across the back I gotta go do this on the other side first okay so I got bungee in and bungee in I've got a spool separating them I don't want them walking together what that's gonna do is it's gonna hold all this down back here on the back okay once again I have got these hooked directly to the rubber I don't want to pinch my bungees there I'm gonna get up there and uh, maybe you can see what I'm doing The whole reason I popped them is to seat that bungee and to get it to where nothing will come out on the way down the road. I'm gonna put my rope on. We're done. There's my rope. Going across the back. Walk down this side. There's the front. Hey, as always, appreciate y'all watching. Hope this helps you out on your tarping jobs. And, uh, I just try to make it look good and stay put going down the road and keep everything dry. Appreciate y'all watching. Talk to y'all later on.